think we're working. You ditched me last week, Jen. Technically, you ditched me. Wow. Like <laughs> Deja. Oh, we hit. And you, I didn't even hear it because I had my headset on yet. Oh, sorry. It's like I the heard holiday it. Holiday in. Holiday in. <laughs> you heard it. That's all that matters. We have you heard that song. Oh Do you gosh. know the song? Okay. I, no, okay, I'll tell you later. <laughs> You got, man, you are all over the map. Hit the intro. Uh, Let's get this party started. Welcome to the Where's the Focus podcast. WTF is an entertaining yet educational ride with top guests from every industry. Knowing where your focus goes, your energy flows. Hosted by top selling author, sought after speaker, leading coach, and high-level executive in the financial industry, Daniel Manginelli. So, WTF. How do you like hearing your voice I on that? I'm like, I'm still not used to it, and I cringe a little. A, it's been a week. I mean, oh, you oh, because of you know, uh, your yeah. voice on there. How do, you, yeah. do you enjoy that intro? Just hearing your voice there? No. You did a good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I don't like I, it. I'm supporting Kareem Abdul-Jabbar today, just in case you want to. That's the captain. Great. Do you even know who that is? I think so. <laughs> Just for the listeners, who confirm. is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? He plays for the Lakers. <laughs> so, yeah. How did he play last year? Know. How did he play last year? Did he play good? I don't think he played. He didn't? Was he hurt? He's from your time. No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. <laughs> He's from your time. I appreciate that. Is that that. true, though? So, in other words, he's old? Is that what you're saying? Yes, he's an older player. He's been retired for a while. Oh, so I got it right, yeah. Yeah, but he's not from my time. He's much older than I am. Pretty close. (laughs) 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 Well, (laughs) welcome back to this week's Where's the Focus... (laughs) I was hoping you said you got a triple double <laughs> last week. Welcome back to the Worst Focus Podcast. Feels so good to be back in the WTF studio. For for he's a jolly good fella. I think that's a good one. Have a good We have a good one this week, Jen. I'm gonna talk about momentum. You know the well known principle popularized by Sir Isaac Newton? <laughs> you like that? It's physics, Sir Isaac Newton. I am just so smart. Holds true to only the realm of, not, it holds true not only to the realm of physics, but also to our lives, careers, and personal growth. So buckle up and get ready for an enlightening discussion on how momentum impacts our journey towards success. Turn that noise off! That's not very nice. <laughs> Sorry. Jen. I was talking about physics in my my intellect and you gave me to turn the noise off yeah the f- yeah I can't get behind it yet <laughs> let's get let's get through this and we'll all see. right i was on the road last week if some of you you know eight people that, that you did last week i was on the road and this one really hit home for me um when you're kind of in the zone and you're focused things that happen to get you off your routine and make it hard to keep momentum going like most of you know um, if you don't, I wake up at 4.15 every morning. That's right, 4.15 a.m. I read, I write, I pray, and then I go to the gym. I get there about 5 o'clock. It starts my day, clears my head. Now, I was on East Coast time last week, and because I am a 100% not wired right that my wife says, I couldn't compromise my principles and just sleep in at that time. So my alarm went off at 4.15 a.m. That's 1.15 a.m. California time. And I stayed with momentum because the car that was taking us to the meetings was picking us up at 645. So I had to get up and get it done. What? What's wrong with you? I just I can't. <laughs> we, could, we could call Angela real quick and ask her. She'll, she'll give you a laundry okay, list of well. stuff. But I mean, I, I've got, I got a lot of things going on in this bean, man. There's a lot of people talking. And there's a lot of noise and birds chirping and a couple crickets sometimes. So <laughs> I'm gonna, let's explore the you can't ba- miss one. <laughs> let's explore the basic idea behind the concept. And I'm going to go back to being smart because I read some stuff. In physics, Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest tends to stay at rest, while an object in motion tends to stay in motion, unless acted upon by an external force. This principle reflects to the inertia we often experience in our lives. 
When we're stagnant, it's challenging to gather our energy needed to overcome obstacles and make progress. However, once you gain momentum and get moving, it becomes easier to maintain that forward motion and keep pushing ourselves towards our goals. So a quick example, a person that wants to embark on a fitness journey, the hardest part is off, often lacing up your running shoes and taking the first step. But once they start moving and experience the endorphin rush, it becomes easier to maintain the habit and continue their exercise routine. Momentum fuels motivation and perseverance. But not only just about the physical motion. For example, like, I enjoy reading. Right. And I really want to finish a book that I'm reading. Right. But sometimes I get distracted. Right. And that book just, you know, gets some dust on there. So it gets hard to go back into motion and have that consistency, momentum I, to go back and finish I, it. Look at you. Throwing in. <laughs> I, this is... Welcome to the Dan and Jen podcast that now she's just going to interrupt me in, in the midst Sorry. of my, of my motion. I feel I like was we on, always think like momentum I as in working on, out, you know? No, I, I Jen, yeah. I love, I love that. You're absolutely right. I mean, it would be just if you're staying in, in that moment, when you get out of that moment, it's difficult. I think another crucial aspect of the principle is the idea that external forces can influence our momentum. In physics, an external force can stop an object in motion and alter its trajectory. Similarity is in our lives. External factors such as setbacks, criticism, unexpected challenges could slow down or even halt our progress. It's really important to recognize these forces and develop strategic ways to overcome them, allowing us to maintain our momentum and continue our path to success. Another key aspect is harnessing momentum is consistent action. Taking small steps consistently creates positive feedback Loop in the propels us forward. As we progress, it motivates us to keep going. And the momentum grows stronger and stronger. It's the power of compounding the progress. When you think about any of this, consistency really is the key. Whether it's our personal lives, careers, or any other endeavor, taking consistent action builds momentum and sets us on a trajectory towards our success. And it's important to remember that even if we encounter obstacles along the way, because we will, you can't let them discourage us. Instead, we can use those challenges and opportunities to learn, adjust, and keep moving forward. Now, I hope our listeners are inspired to embrace the concept of things in motion stay in motion. We all start things, and they go well. But for some reasons, we stop. And when we stop, it's much harder to get started again, even harder than it ever was to actually start the first time. You don't believe that? Ever been on a diet and then not? Ever, ever go to the gym and then stop? Ever make phone calls and prospectings? And when you're in that momentum, you could keep it going. But when you stop is when it becomes really difficult. When you get the power of momentum, it's easy to stay there. But once distracted and stopped, it's even easier to quit. The key this week is to stay in motion. Remember, what we say matters, but what we do matters more. So, thank you for your physics lesson this week, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and comment on my Sir Isaac Newton <laughs> physics lesson. Please do. I'd love to hear your experiences with staying in momentum, how you started something and stopped something. And I'll find out what book Jen was talking about when I was sorely in interrupted in the midst of my Sorry. podcast. It's okay. <laughs> and send this link to a friend who can use to stay in momentum. And until next week, my WTFers, make sure you have some fun and make dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs>